it's one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. So it's no wonder that the magnificent Grand Central Terminal has been used in so many memorable movies. Shooting on location in Grand Central Terminal these days is not that easy. But back in 1959, when very few movies were filmed in New York, it was really difficult. But dealing with those logistical drawbacks is exactly what legendary director Alfred Hitchcock decided to do with his classic thriller, North by Northwest. Here, the hunted Cary Grant tries to make his escape from New York City. An even earlier use of the iconic terminal can be seen in Hitchcock's Spellbound in 1945 with Gregory Peck and Ingrid Bergman. In 1970, Jack Lemmon and Sandy Dennis encountered all kinds of problems during their visit to the Big Apple in Neil Simon's The Out of Towners. On several occasions, Grand Central has been used on film in very innovative ways. Director Terry Gilliam transformed the terminal into a magnificent ballroom in 1991 with waltzing commuters in The Fisher King. More recently, Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake watch a flash mob strut their stuff on the main concourse in Friends with Benefits. In the remake of Arthur, Greta Gerwig and Russell Brand close the place down and have a private dinner there, a scene that had to be filmed at 3 in the morning when the terminal is closed for cleaning. 2008's Revolutionary Road filled the transit hub with hundreds of extras dressed up as commuters from the 1950s. The place literally explodes when an asteroid the size of Texas heads towards the Earth in the sci-fi flick Armageddon. You can catch an inside glimpse of Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones in Men in Black, and then take a look at Smith again with a haunting exterior view in the post-apocalyptic I Am Legend, while a team of superheroes do battle in front of the main entrance in The Avengers. Grand Central Terminal was even animated, pretty accurately too, in a famous scene from the movie Madagascar. Painstaking graphic detail went into these shots from 2005, which features Chris Rock and Ben Stiller as two of the voices of the many animals. You can see all of these movies and more, either on demand or on DVD. With a look at some of the many films that were shot on location in Grand Central Terminal, I'm Neil Rosen, New York One.